Okay, let's see. What do we got here? This is the dress that I want to create for a fantasy fair here. I basically, um, a sort of cosplay that they have um, in our area. I drew this out in stages, which I have posted previously. And these are the wings, not those. Where are my wings? Ah, here are my wings. These are the wings that will go with the dress eventually. the basic idea and this dress of course this is not quite correct to scale so it's not lining up quite correct quite correctly but close enough that we can actually see what it's going to look like and yes the wings are going to be quite large this is not to scale but actually it's not that far off either maybe that far and maybe I'd say to waist height so but that's not that's not too far off from what I'm trying to create but that's not what this video is about this video is about me trying to figure out how to do a dude version of this, a guy version, because I will be going with my partner, and my partner is a guy, and he, although he's game to do many things, and does occasionally wear a dress, when the mood takes um, is going to not have a dress for this particular fantasy fair I'm going to be doing some kind of armor inspired but it has to match my dress so, let's see, what can we conceive of? I don't want any sharp, sharp edges. V was too shallow. I needed a deep V. That's why it looked wrong. Okay, let's try that. Deeper V. Yeah, that's better. I want it to look a bit more organic. Because this is supposed to be a butterfly of some sort. Yeah. Okay, that's looking right. And he doesn't have much of a waist because he's a dude. And he's not... Let's just say we are not small people. We are. And if this is the first layer, I do want like a fairly chunky belt up here. Um, 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 um. I 
think, because he loves kilts. I think I'm going to do a overskirt of some sort. is going to be for September, so it'll still be fairly hot, so that's fine. Maybe the side panels need to be embellished in the same way that my skirt is embellished. Little gems, well, not gemstones, but like glittery shit. It's uh, it's going to be some sort of um, sort of bead encrusted trim that I use. I don't want to feminize it too much because it must be, I guess he's going to be my bodyguard and he can uh, shove people out of the way. <laughs> the edges can be the jewel encrusted bits I think maybe the inner bits like here should just be piping maybe it's more like ceremonial on uh, about that either way it depends on how much this stuff costs of course because is she very expensive? Then I'm going to hog it all for myself. Black piping. I mean, a matte-ish silver. Mixed metallics. Same as my, same as my dress. And this is going to be the black beading trim. And then I want a fairly heavy belt. Hmm. I'm going to have to do something about this uh, belt clasp because that needs to be something interesting and appropriate. Hmm. Okay, and then this. I think the back should hit about mid-calf. A little smudgy tool, a doodler. Hmm. Did I do that now? That was silly. So I colored right over that edge. That's fine. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. That's the... Um, that is the skirt. But now what about the top part? A bit of an ombre. Because that is 
how my skirt's going to be to you. But anyway, okay. That is it. That is the skirt part. And for the next video, we're going to do the top half of the body, which is um, chest plate and how we're going to attack uh, the chest armor. So come back and have a look uh, at that. And you can see the two together.